Hello and welcome to MLab 1231 Parasitology and Mycology. My name is Dustin Scott Brewster and this is going to be the navigating Blackboard video for this course. So at this point, if you're watching this video, you've probably already logged into Blackboard, which will look something like this. Next, you want to click on the link to this course, which will be this one right here, Parasitology and Mycology. And then you will come to the announcements page, which is the landing page for this course. So once you're here, the first thing you need to do per the email I sent everybody is click on the start here tab. And I want everybody to read over this section and complete these tasks. So the first thing we need to do is welcome to parasitology and mycology. Review this. So item number one, watch the navigating parasitology and mycology video, which you are if you're watching this. Next, we need to review the tools for online success. Third, we need to read the entirety of this section, the start here folder. And then we're going to scroll down and complete a few housekeeping items in the week one checklist. So scrolling down, we have the week one checklist. The very first thing we need to do is read over the syllabus, the schedule, and the grading policy, then take the online orientation quiz. Item number two is take the statement of understanding quiz. Item number three is send me an email using your ACC Gmail account. It's important to use your ACC Gmail account so I know for new students that you have access to ACC Gmail. Fourth is going to be introducing yourself to the class. So for all four of these items, there's a link right underneath for the online orientation quiz. You click on this link, you complete that orientation. For the statement of understanding, you're going to click on this link and complete that. And then you're going to send me an email. That's item number three. And item number four is going to be complete the week one welcome instruction. So you're going to click on this link. It'll take you to the discussion board and just give me a brief background about yourself and uh, why you're here. And uh, what you expect to learn from this class. So that'll be the week one checklist. I want that completed by the end of week one. So next, we already talked about the announcements tab. That's where we landed. Uh, the discussion board is the tab we're in right now. It'll be here. There are some starter posts for each of the sections for parasitology and mycology. So if you have a question about any specific section, you can go to that section and ask that question right there. Maybe there's another student in the class that has the same question um, or uh, it'll get some conversation going amongst the students. So let's use the discussion board as much as possible. So uh, this is myself, Dustin Scott Brewster, and a little biography about myself. Co-teaching this class with me is Dale Dingley. Dale Dingley is an invaluable source of information for parasitology and mycology. You can read his biography here. He has over 33 years of experience in parasitology and uh, he's a really interesting guy. So I encourage you to post things on the discussion board. Dale is very active in that section of the course. So feel free to ask questions there. Uh, additionally, if you have a question you wanna ask that you don't wanna share in the discussion board, uh, if it's about your grade or an assignment or whatever, and it's more personal, you can just email me directly and we'll get to that part here in just a second. So the bulk of the class is going to be held here in the course content tab. Select course content and we have parasitology and mycology. So the first section of the class will be parasitology. Click that link there and this folder will open up and we'll have six unit sections here. So the first one, Introduction to Parasitology, we can go ahead and see what that looks like. Each section is going to be organized the same. There's going to be a unit overview followed by, I should probably switch this to student mode. So there's going to be a unit overview followed by objectives for this unit, followed by the lecture, which is in PDF format, 
And then the recorded lectures are here, the links, and they're each divided into 10 or 15 minute sections. Uh, at the end of every unit folder will be the assignment for that unit. So at the bottom, we have the assignment for that unit. Click on here and complete the assignment, and that will take care of unit one. So unit uh, two, three, four, five, and six are all the same, and uh, so I won't go into any more detail on those. Uh, mycology is going to be organized the same. Uh, we're going to start with parasitology and we're going to end the semester with mycology. So that'll take care of the bulk of the course. Next we have the exams. The exams uh, will populate here once that time rolls around. I'll send everybody an email with a study guide for each exam. There's going to be three exams, exam one, exam two, and the final exam. I will send everybody an email a week before the exam is due, and I'll go ahead and open up the exam at that time. That'll give you seven days to take the exam. At the same time, I'll give you a study guide. Stick to that study guide. It's really close to what's going to be on the exam, and historically, students do quite well that review that study guide and uh, you'll have to go into an ACC testing center to take that exam. So that'll be mentioned several times, including this video. Uh, I've sent it in the introduction email, uh, and it's also posted on the exam whenever it pops up. So know in advance that you have to go to an ACC testing center to take all three major exams for this course. Alternatively, if you can't do that, you can uh, uh, take an online uh, exam using Proctor U, and there's directions on how to do that um, in the syllabus. So that takes care of exams. For keeping track of the course, you can go to the schedule tab. So week one, we have the week one checklist, and that is just to familiarize yourself with the course by reading over everything in the start here tab. The four assignments for the week one checklist are right here, and they're going to be due uh, at the due date, which will be in the far right-hand column. Next, we have Unit 1, which is Introduction to Parasitology, and the assignment for that unit is the Unit 1 quiz. Next, we have Unit 2. Unit 2 covers class nematoda, and we're going to have a quiz for the nematodes, and we're going to have two case studies. And once we get into actual organisms, as we do in Unit 2, our first one is class nematoda, we're going to have case studies for each of those, uh, so fill up those case studies and I'll give you some tips on how to be successful uh, for completing your case studies later in the semester. So this uh, is going to be in alignment with when projects and assignments are due, so frequent the schedule tab as necessary so you stay caught up and please remember don't submit anything late. This is uh, an asynchronous course, so you're free to complete assignments before they're due, and I encourage you to do that and not wait until the last minute. I will hold you accountable for the late policy that's stated in the syllabus. If uh, you have a specific question, I talked about this a second ago, that you don't want to uh, post in the discussion board, you can click on email, and then you can email the instructors specifically, that's myself, and Professor Dingley, or you can select um, specific users, select users. You can find my name and email me specifically. So you can, I'm over here, and you would just add that. You would add a subject, and then uh, whatever is in the question you need to ask me, and then submit. So that's how you would submit an email to me directly or to whoever else you want to talk to directly. Uh, to review your grades, you can click on My Grades. And as we go throughout the semester, they'll populate over here on the right. And uh, your final grade will be calculated at the end of the semester and posted here. So uh, that should take care of how to navigate this course. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me by email by following that link that I just described. And uh, if not, I hope everybody has a good semester and welcome to parasitology and mycology.